Sorry about that can uh, cancer, but it's why I'm shopping for a new camera, okay? For this one reason that frustrates the living hell out of me. So as I was saying about the five of uh, wands, this is short-lived energy. Uh, the five of wands could be... Uh, I always say this the projection of the energy coming from other people who wants to start a fight, pick a you know argument with you. Something's going on with them and it has nothing to do with you. If it's not someone who wants to pick a, a fight or an argument with you, then it could be just a little bit of inner restlessness and nervousness going on. Now, it is underneath this king of uh, pentacles, so someone could be a little bit nervous or a little bit fidgety. Uh, possibly waiting to hear about a promotion or waiting to hear possibly about a loan that they may have applied for. Whatever fits the scenario for you, just fill in the blanks. But it's not going to be the energy that sticks around too long because it never does. It's a five, number one. It's fire, uh, number two, and it's energy. So again, you can see all the angry faces and stuff. If you can see all the angry faces that are here, and it's usually other people, okay, trying to start something with you. Don't feed into a cancer. It's not worth the energy. All right. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Uh, with that five of wands. After the five of wands. Oh, now we have the king of cups. Wow. So the king of cups is showing up here <laughs> as part of your energy. It mirrors the ten of cups. This is actually pretty good energy here. Uh, we're receiving this upcoming week. And it's long overdue. King of Cups is the uh, father of all love. He's uh, he's definitely a nurturer. He's a care caregiver. Uh, he's supportive emotionally. Uh, he's intuitive. So again, pay attention to your own intuition. Uh, whatever intuitive prompts that you get, always go with that gut instinct, uh, Cancer, because that is usually the correct answer. Uh, again, older feel. So we have a lot of elder people showing up here. Uh, so there may be some uh, great exchanges going on with these folks. Or because the cups comes in now, it could indicate that relationship. Because I was saying before, if there was a relationship that you were, well, we had the Ten of Cups, uh, that you were looking forward to connect with this upcoming year as part of your resolutions, then you have the favorability of the night. Uh, well, I mean, the King of Cups showing up here. And then you have all of these court cards. OK, all of these court cards. So I don't know if I'm reading for or picking up energies, um, you know, for cancers who, uh, you know, connect or engage in uh, new partnerships. And these people are older than cancer. Well, that's a possibility. So the King of Cups represents your energy of uh, cancer and that energy of Pisces and Scorpio. So we are looking good so far. Wow. Last card is the, uh, oh, this is the money card. <laughs> you got two tens here, okay? So that's very auspicious in itself. Two tens. This is the Ten of Pentacles. It mirrors the Ten. Oh, I wonder if this is a lottery win or something like that. And then the Ten of Cups is coming in for the way that we feel and then we're uh, possibly sharing our lottery, our lottery winnings with our family because these cups will represent our family. That could be. This is an inheritance card. This is a windfall for sure. This is um, a lot of money coming in. This is a large amount of money, possibly. Wow. And then again, the night of wands is over top. So maybe something that um, definitely happens quickly. And can't we all use some damn money? I know I could purchase a new camera. So um, cancer, the Ten of Pentacles um, represents the Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. But just keep in mind that I am seeing money because we have the King of Pentacles and we actually have the Ten of Pentacles. It's the best card to get. When you're looking to receive money. So, again, it could be, you know, that promotion to a higher paying position. Uh, someone could still be getting a new job, but they're paying more money than previously uh, a job that you had uh, held before. Uh, if it's not related to all of those things that I just mentioned, then cancer, then we're going through the end of the week and feeling abundant because we have everything that we need. OK, we have our family. You know, our significant others with all of these people that are showing up here and the great exchanges with those energies. And that may be all that it is. But I do feel that normally when the Ten of uh, Pentacles shows up here, it relates to um, money being received, money coming in. And it's usually a large amount of money. So 
it could go either way. But with that being said, I want to finish off this reading for you, Cancer. So we finally end up starting the new year off right with a good uh, energy read. And um, I'm happy to have been uh, been able to deliver that energy for you. So please be safe in all that you do. Always emphasizing that safety. My apologies for, you know, my camera. The laptop uh, recorder cutting down on me. Uh, I really don't like that. So um, wishing you all love and light until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.